be prepared okay so the chapter name is crop crop production and management okay mm -hmm. so what are the things that we are going to discuss in the chapter first of all we are going to talk about the types of crops okay now here i am giving you the content what we in fact discussed in the chapter what else we did uh, we did uh, discuss in the chapter arhan Hmm. So, basic practices of growing crops. Basic practices of growing the crops, right? And then what else we studied? Whatever the steps were involved in this basic practices. Like we did talked about preparation of soil. Ki humne baat ki thi. Okay. Now, in the preparation of soil, some agricultural tools will be used right now. Yes, sir. So we will understand about some agricultural implements that are used in the process of preparation of the soil. Like what are some of the agricultural implements? Like you have got use of hoe, right? Plough is used. Getting it now. And nowadays we use cultivators. Okay. After this, Second basic practice in growing the crops, it will be sowing of seeds. We'll be talking about how seeds are sown and how transplanting is also done. Anyone remember what is transplanting? Anyone? Mm -hmm. yeah, give me a moment. Yes, sir, I know. Yeah. So, transplantation, uh, transplanting in the case of crop, I hope you guys remember. Yes, sir. Okay. So, that we will also be talking about, like, what is, uh, how we sow the seeds, what are the methods involved in that. We will be studying that. And apart from that, we will be studying about addition of manures fertilizers. and fertilizers. Right. Okay, I hope none of the chapters have been omitted from your final syllabus. Huh? Your yes. final syllabus me koi chapter removed to nahi hui Okay, if there is any, do let me know. Then we will also talk about what was crop rotation. So, we will talk about Yes, sir. Okay, crop rotation is a different, all together, it's a different heading. So, crop rotation. Now, after that, we will be talking about irrigation. We need to irrigate the field also. So, what is irrigation? And under irrigation, we will hmm, under irrigation we will get to know about different methods of irrigation. Like, we will sprinkler system. Ki baat karenge. We will be drip. talking about drip system, right? Yes. Sir. And there were some traditional methods of irrigating the field also, right? Yes, now, sir. anyone remembers sir. the name of some traditional methods? Sir, the traditional methods of irrigation was omitted in my school. It's, it was not in your school. Yeah. Okay, no sure. But it's still, uh, uh, there are a few things that uh, just takes like a minute or two. So we will be covering that all. So, okay, now. Mm. Apart from that, there are some unwanted plant that grows in, along with the main crop. So those are called weed. So removal of weed, we'll be studying about that also. Removing yes, of the weeds. Right. What else? Finally, it's harvesting good so we'll be talk next it will be harvesting okay now and now we finally comes the storage of the food that we have got so is storage what are the different methods of storage that we will be covering yes sir methods of storage right now one more thing we will be discussing about in this chapter is yeah those are some of the methods right now one more important thing we will be studying about is like what are some of the foods that we get from animals also so yeah. we'll be talking a little bit about that also right so this yeah. in short my friends this in short is the content of the chapter that we have to basically study 
okay yes sir okay you guys can take a screenshot of it to just keep a track of what we are discussing okay anyone has any questions please do ask here yes sir yeah moaz ahmed arhan arham if you guys have any question related to chapter no any sir. doubts okay let's begin in fact we did uh, begin the begin the chapter in the previous class and first of all we did talked about crops okay who will define to me what do you understand by this word crop what does crop basically mean a large portion of a plant grown in the same area hmm of the same type or different type same type hmm so guys when you grow same kind of crops same kind of actually plants when same kind of plants are grown in the fields on a small scale ya fir large scale sir large scale large scale okay yes sir to obtain the food okay and one more thing we can add here jab bhi hum crop production karte hain na thereby we are not uh, not only producing the crop for our own use but to meet the requirement of the masses yes sir okay. right now so because we have to actually meet the need of the people at a large scale yes sir so you can say that same kind of plants are grown in the field on a large scale to obtain the food and to fulfill the needs of a large population okay yes, large sir. population getting it yes, okay sir. so no matter whether you grow wheat or whether you grow rice or maize or pulses all of these are examples of crops right yes. and on the on the seasonal basis now humne crops ko divide kiya zaid crops kharif crops and rabi crops mein yes sir. okay no <clears throat> what are these two types of crops look here first of all let's to talk about kharif crops and then the rabi crops right no there are some crops which are sown in the rainy season इन्हें हम प्लांट करते हैं रेनी सीजन में सो दोज विल बी कॉल्ड एस खरीफ क्रॉप ओके प्लांटेड इन रेनी सीजन ओके दिस शुड बी ऑन योर टंग दिस थिंग इज वेरी बेसिक बट मेनी टाइम्स आई हैव सीन पीपल फॉर गेटिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द खरीफ क्रॉप एंड रबी क्रॉप सो जस्ट रिमेम्बर डैट any type of crop that will be planted or sown in the rainy season moas they will be called as kharif crops okay yes sir now when is the rainy season in india what is the time duration for rainy season around july somewhere around june july to yes, september sir. june to september hmm. so june to september right yes sir so it will be planted in this month right moaz ahmed yeah hmm. yes sir so these uh, so these are generally from the month of june to september okay so usually the sowing for the uh, for the kharif crop will start in the month of june july june july ke month mein hum um, plants ko sow karna shuru karte hain right yes sir okay also is waqt south west monsoon india mein hota hai right yes, sir. south yes, west sir. monsoon will bring rain abundant amount of rain okay can anyone tell me where does the southwest monsoon come from does it come from the bay of bengal or the arabian sea sir the bay of bengal yes sir what what the bay of bengal bay of bengal southwest monsoon southwest south monsoon oh. southwest arabian monsoon arabian sea sir arabian sea hmm. yes, right now so southwest monsoon west monsoon will bring plenty amount of rainfall in the fertile plain of the northern india right now yes, sir. so thereby we will be growing those type of law, uh, uh, crops that require good amount of water for example what are some of the examples can you guys quote me example of some plants which requires a good amount of water the rice sir, rice, rice. Hmm. and uh, groundnut rice and groundnut groundnut good 
चलो मैं कुछ एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे लिख रहा हूँ ओके एवरी वन हैज टू गिव एट लीस्ट वन एग्जाम्पल ओके सो अरहान अरहम यू सेइंग ग्राउंड नट ठीक है यू सेड राइस अहमद मोज Yeah, what are the crops which requires a good amount of water? Like, you have example of cotton also. Yes, yes. Okay. Also, you guys can just look at here as well. Examples are already provided. I have already taken examples over here. Okay. So if you pay attention at the slides also, many things are written over there as well. Okay now. Yes, sir. Okay. So groundnut rice. cotton is an example you have example of maize also yes sir right? yes sir you have example of millets also okay so these things you need to know about right and all yes. these crops can grow only in the rainy season because it requires a lot of water yes sir now especially if i were to talk about the paddy crop rice is also called as paddy paddy okay i can't grow the paddy crop in the winter season yes sir right hmm. no? because water available in winter is much lesser yes, on yes, the sir. other hand if i were to see uh, if i were to talk about uh, wheat agar main wheat ki baat karta hu okay so wheat is sown in the kharif season if yes, agar if if wheat is sown in the kharif season agar main wheat ko grow karta hu kharif season mein then it will not grow well why because wheat plant cannot tolerate too much amount of water Yes, sir. Right. For the paddy crop, के लिए हम देखते हैं, it requires a lot of amount of water, so it can be only seen uh, sown in the kharif season. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, now. While wheat, being a rabi crop, that is grown in the winter season, that is sown in the winter season, that is from the month of October to March. Winter October से मार्च तक होता है usually India में. Okay, hmm. now all the examples here are uh, in context of India. Get it? Yes, sir. Mawaz. Ahmed Arhan Arham. Yes, sir. So, so yes, that sir. is the situation here. Okay. Now, what are the things you need to remember? I will be asking from each and every one of you. Do remember these things. First okay. thing, Kharif planted in the rainy season. Okay. Yes, sir. It is from June to September. Examples you have to memorize the examples also. ठीक है? Yes, sir. All right. Now let's come to the second type of rabi crop. Who will explain this to me? Sir, the plants. Sir, hmm. so the plants that are grown in, uh, in the winter to uh, summer season are known as uh, karabi crops. These crops require very less amount of water compared to karif crops. Hmm. Okay. Usually, you will just say it is grown in the. Uh, it is sown, uh, in the month in the starting of the October to November. Yes, sir. Okay, now, when the winter is usually beginning. Winter. When does it begin here in India? अक्टूबर टू नवंबर नवंबर में विंटर शुरू होती है इंडिया में सो एट दैट टाइम वी विल बी सोइंग द रबी क्रॉप्स ओके एंड द क्रॉप्स विल बी रेडी टू बी हार्वेस्टेड अब इसे हम कट कर सकते हैं बाय द मंथ ऑफ मार्च इट इज रेडी सो मार्च में रेडी हो जाती है क्रॉप्स एंड यूजली इन द अक्टूबर इन बिटवीन अक्टूबर टू नवंबर इट इज सोन ओके ना मोज यू ऑल्सो गेटिंग दिस ना Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Now also do memorize the examples. The examples are very important. First thing is that they are also called as winter crops. ठीक है? Yes, sir. Second thing you need to know about the examples. Examples are wheat, gram, pea, mustard, and rancid. In the test that was conducted, I have seen that some of you guys have um, misquoted the examples. Okay, now आप नहीं तो भी crops के examples को fit कर दिया खरीफ में and then the kharif in the rabi so do remember is the examples okay yes sir right okay okay acha there is a very simple word agriculture how do we define this word agriculture by the way sir um so the practice of uh, sowing crops like fruits and vegetables is called agriculture hmm good so basically the practice or growing of the plants or crops in the fields for obtaining different types of foods right like it could be wheat rice it could be vegetables it could be fruits 
that is simply called as agriculture okay hmm. acha anyone who knows about animal husbandry another simple term what is animal husbandry yes sir hmm. define it so the process uh, so the uh, practice of uh, rearing animals grazing animals hmm. and uh, hmm. for their products uh, mm-hmm. is called, uh, called as animal husbandry exactly exactly the products could be either their flesh either uh, their uh, milk either the eggs either their skin right now these could be the products okay so now having discussed the basic things about the types of crops now let's move on to the third type of crop that is zaid crops right so zaid crops are those crops now those are such crops that are sown in between the kharif and the rabi crops जब हम इन दो फसल को उगा रहे होते हैं इनके बीच में हम जैद क्रॉप्स ग्रो करते हैं व्हाट आर सम एग्जांपल्स? दे आर सम सीजनल फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स यू विल फाइंड सच सम फ्रूट्स ओनली इन सम पार्ट ऑफ द ईयर ओके ना सो दो आर सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ दोज आर द बेसिकली जैद क्रॉप्स एनी वन हु कैन कोट सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ जैद क्रॉप वाटर मिलन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वाटर मिलन Hmm. What else? Musk melon, cucumber, huh? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Strawberry. Ma- exactly, A strawberry, very good. Strawberry. Okay, you have cucumber also. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Sir, carrot. Carrots, very good. Carrots. Yeah. What else? Any any other examples? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, I, I guess that much of, for example, is sufficient. Okay, so yes. do remember memorize the this much uh, this examples also. So they will be sown between the rabi and kharif crops. Usually questions are not asked from these ad crops, but it could be asked. No one knows. Like, ठीक है ना तो आपको याद रखना. It will be sown between the rabi and kharif crops. That is in the summer season from March to June. Yes. Okay. no the basic practices that will be involved in the growth of a crop are as follows first of all we prepare the soil then plant the seeds then add manure and fertilizer then the land has to be provided with water that is called irrigation and then it has to be protected from the unwanted plants okay now then harvesting and then finally storage yes. okay now starting from ahmed ahmed explain to me why preparation of soil is necessary ha huh. ahmed you are you are basically studying the chapter for the first time but there are some simple things that you can also answer theek hai na so i will be asking question from you also okay yeah is my voice is audible ahmed please to respond yes sir sir hmm Ahmed, this you are there in the class, man. Yeah, Ahmed, you are here in the class. And why none of you have turned your cameras on? Actually, there is no signal in my uh, monitor today. That's why I'm unable to join from there. Okay. Sorry. What I can? S- ah, uh-huh. okay, good then. Yeah, Ahmed, quickly, guys, please do tell me quickly. Okay, na. Hi. Now you explain it to me. Okay, na. The preparation of soil is basically turning and losing of the soil. It mm. is done due to uh, because mm. uh, so the roots can penetrate deeper into the soil and reach the uh, ground water, and it also mm. helps in the uh, birth of microorganisms, mm-hmm. which helps uh, uh, increase the fertility of the soil. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Right now. so as you as you heard that arhan has listed some very good points that these are the reasons why preparation of soil is necessary right now because if i were to throw the seeds on a very hard land land in which the soil is very hard the texture is very hard so thereby the seeds will either flow with the wind or with the water or will be simply eaten by the birds or the insects right now so thereby in order to sow the seeds at the right depth in order uh, to ensure that the hmm 
right intervals and also in order to make sure that the seeds germinate properly we need to prepare the soil yes, so yes the first step involved here is preparation so what is the third step what is the third, third step? step yeah after we have done these two steps now the third step uh, like first of all you prepare the soil and then you uh, basically do what? Like sow the, sow the seeds now. Adding after manure you have, and fertilizers. Exactly. After you have sown the seeds, you will be adding manures and fertilizers. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. So preparation of soils. Now, previously, people were preparing the soil manually. Yes, right now, pehle log manually prepare karte the soil. Ko. Okay. <clears throat> so there will be simple, some, some tools that is used for preparing the soil. Okay, now. There are some tools that we use. Either yes. we can use a plough, or either we can use plough. No. Uh, either we can plough the field by using tractors also. Yes, yes. Sir. Okay. Now preparation of soil, like the soil, is prepared for sowing the seeds of the crop. Now, in order to do that, we have got two different methods. First of all, as you all know, it is simply pluffing. Yes, sir. Right. And the second one, after you have pluffed the land, what you need to do, like pluffing, we can use two methods. Use kar sakte hai. Like either we can use the normal pluff. Yes, sir. Okay. Or either we can use a tractor. As you can see in this image here. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. So, ek pluffing kya hoti hai, usme hum bullocks use karte hai. Right now, the bulls basically pull a bluff into in the land, thereby yes. helping in loosening the soil. Yes. So, the soil is basically prepared for sowing the seeds of the crop. Right. So, first step here in the preparation of soil will be pluffing. After that, anyone tell me what is next to be done? In fact, in the Sir, previous class, I also told. Usage of go to loosen the soil. No. I have already pluffed the soil. Pluffing either we blocks seeds. use karke kar sakte hain. Adding seeds. No, no. You guys forgot about leveling. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm? <clears throat> okay, no. so leveling has to be done. Okay. Third thing we can do here, we can add manure here as well. Hum yes, par sir. Manuring kar sakte hain. Yes, In sir. fact, that will be a better thing to do. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, let's do talk about first step here. Pluffing. Yeah. Moz, you are able to relate with the concepts. I hope, I hope these are very simple things. Yes, sir. Uh, and I think like every one of us have, uh, I think, come from uh, uh, like, in, at least our parents come from an agricultural background. If not our yes, parents, our, our grandparents. Yes, right. Yes, so sir. we all have been to villages, so we can relate with the pretty much concepts over here. So pluffing hum kisi kehte hai? Pluffing is simply the process. Okay, someone who would like to explain pluffing. Sir, uh, the process of turning and loosening of soil for uh, the plants to grow well is known as plowing. Exactly. What? Achha. Ahmed, what is the another name for pluffing? Okay. Arhan, what is the another name for bluffing? Sir, turning and loosening. No, nee, so can I Yeah. Tilling. Tilling, good. That is tilling. Okay, so guys, do remember, there are there is another name for bluffing, that is tilling. Okay? So the process of loosening and turning the soil is called bluffing or either we can call them as tilling also okay yes, yes, and as you know no uh, as you guys know like bluffing is done by using a simple implement called as bluff okay yes, so there will be a simple implement used to do the process of bluffing that will simply be looking like this there a hole Huh, who can be also used, but it's a 
Pros are no better as compared to who. Okay, na. Yes. Who is a very simple and a small tool. Okay, na. Hmm. Ha, like in the gardens, you can be using that. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Ha. Okay. Okay. No. No. Not in the garden. We. You can actually use it in the field also. Okay, na. Hmm. It's. It is having a different structure. That of the plough. Plough ki structure kuch is tarah se hoti hai. Right. Yes, sir. This is being basically pulled by the bulls. Okay. If you were to look at the who, I don't have the diagram actually here, but who will somewhat look like this? This is the wooden handle. Okay. <clears throat> And there will be a beam like this over here. Okay. And then there will be a A plate attached over here. A plate here, but attached to it. It will be somewhat yes. like this. Yes, sir. Hope I am able to draw the correct representation yes, here. So it is somewhat, I guess, like this. Okay. <clears throat> so this metal plate that you are seeing over here, this is actually bent, bent yes, metal. Plate, ठीक है, and ये इसकी handle होती है, right now. This is how a hoe actually looks like, and the first diagram is that of a plough. Okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. So plough is basically a agricultural implement which is uh, again used for ploughing or tilling the soil. Now uh, this is a traditional uh, uh, in, um, implement. Yes. It's a tra traditional uh, implement, right now. So the wooden play a plate. Anyone would like to explain the structure of it? Yes, sir. Which? What is the structure of this bluff? There are several parts in it. Yes, sir. The metal. Uh, sir, there is a metal. Uh, mm. So the uh, this is made up of metal. Mm hmm. Okay. And actually, we call it as what you know. It is called oh, as bluff here. Good. Right. And this is the handle of it. Yes, sir. Okay. And that is the this part here is the plow shaft. Plow shaft actually. Plow shaft we got it as. Okay now. So this is the usual structure of a plow. Okay. Yes, sir. And this is the end that goes into the soil, and then you have got a uh, another beam attached over here. So that goes over to the. Uh, body of the bulls, right? Yes, sir. So this is how it is pulled in the soil. Such a simple structure. Then you have got this hoe. It is also an agriculture implement, which is used uh, in the loosening of the soil, but also it is used for removal of weeds also. Yes, sir. So another interesting thing, like you can't be using the plow for the removal of the weeds, but you can use this hoe for the loosening. Can we be used for such thing? Plus for removing weeds, getting it now. Yes, sir. <coughs> removing weeds. Yes, okay. Sir. By the way, what is the weed? Ah, uh, ham was W W E D S. Yes, sir. What are weeds? W W E D S. Weeds. Seeds. No, weeds are different from seeds now. Weeds are the unwanted wild crop that grows in the field. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Now, uh, the common thing about both of them is that they both can be used for loosening of the soil. One extra feature for which hoe is used is for the removal of weeds as well, and both of them are being pulled by the animal, usually a pair of bullocks. Okay. Yes, Mm. Or we can say now that hoe is basically a kind of modified bluff. Hey, okay? Yes, sir. It's a modified bluff, so we can understand it in this manner as well. Okay. Now the uh, the tractor that you are seeing over here, at the back of the, the tractor, this red structure that you see, that is actually a cultivator. Cultivator. Yes, sir. Okay, now that is actually a cultivator. Just let me add one more slide to. Have some extra space over here. Okay, so that is a cultivator. Cultivator simply it somewhat looks like this, right? Okay. Yes, Anyone would like to explain the function of it and what extra feature uh, does it have? 
So it how levels the it? soil and breaks the clump that of the soil. Mm -hmm. So it levels uh, level the soil and breaks the clump that is formed when loosening the soil. Look, you have to attach an uh, extra attachment to it now. आपको एक extra attachment इसमें add करनी होगी. Then only you will be able to level the soil. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Cultivator is basically uh, it is driven by the tractor. So the main yes. purpose for which the cultivator is used, first of all, it is used for loosening the soil. Okay, loosening or we can say loosening and turning the soil. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, not only loosening, turning is also important. Turning basically means what? The top soil, which is usually fertile. Yes, sir. Let's say is the top soil or the horizon A, top layer of the soil. Yes, sir. Layers of the soil are also called as horizons, right? Now, so there are, as you guys know, there are several horizons in the ground. Okay. Yes, sir. The first horizon, then it is the Horizon B. Yes, okay. sir. So the soil that is continuously um being used for crop production. So after some time that becomes less fertile. Now, so okay. we need to turn the soil. Meaning that meaning what? Bringing the soil that is beneath the top soil above, so that soil is soil becomes more fertile, so that yes, the plant sir. has access to the Uh, more fertile layers of the soil as well. Getting yes, it now, what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. So, so along uh, along with loosening, turning of soil is also necessary, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what are the advantages of using a, a an cultivator over a plough? Yes, Ahmed. Advantages of using cultivator. Yes. Yeah, Moaz. What are the advantages? What could be the advantages of using the tractor? Uh, sir, oh, sorry, cultivator. Can, yeah, it can be used to level the soil. Not level the soil. It can be used to. Used so to. No, just uh, just let uh, uh Moaz try for a, um, a while. Yeah, Moaz. Yes, sir. Like it is being pulled by a tractor, while the plough or a hoe, uh, it is being pulled by animals. So which one yes. is more efficient? Obviously, which one is more efficient? Mm. Tractors. Cultivators, no cultivators. Sorry, cultiv cultivators. Okay. Is there any other points would like to add, Arham? Yes, sir. So it uh, saves time and labor. Hmm. Good. So it breaks first... uh, breaks clumps. Hmm. Hmm. Right now, so it is effective in saving time, saving human labor. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, so right now that human labor can be utilized in some other things, right? So in this way, it is saving both labor and time as well. Okay, hmm. so nowadays also I can plough a large field. Yes, yes sir. Large field can be ploughed using the cult uh, cultivators. Getting yes, it now. Sir. Okay, so now if you go to village, you will see that people you will usually pay to the cultivators. Okay, pay to the uh uh. Um, Pay for cultivating the um their soil using this cultivator on an yes. hourly basis for like five hundred or thousand rupees like this. Take okay. it. Yes, okay, so that is all about the pluffing. Take okay. it. Yes, sir. Okay. There were some other steps involved in the uh, in the preparation of soil as well, right? Apart from that, remember we were talking about leveling also, yes, right? No. Yes, okay. Sir. So the question comes here. That why leveling of the soil is important. So because of soil erosion. Because of uh, soil erosion. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Uh, to break the crumbs. To break the crumbs. Yes. The animal eating the seeds. Yeah. Also, like if they are 
लाइक हमने कल्टिवेट तो कर ली ग्राउंड को वी हैव फ्लफ द फील्ड बट स्टिल इफ दे आर बिगर चंक्स और सॉइल प्रेजेंट सो व्हाट विल हैपन देयर विल बी प्रॉब्लम इन सोइंग आल्सो सीड्स कैन नॉट बी डिस्पर्स ऑन द सॉइल इवनली राइट ओके देयर कुड बी केसेस ऑफ सॉइल इरोजन आल्सो देयर कुड बी वाटर लॉगिंग एट सम पार्टिकुलर प्लेसेस ठीक है सो दीस आर द प्रॉब्लम्स वन कुड हैव ओके या मॉस ओके <clears throat> so look basically what happens now the plowed soil will be leveled so there are different implement strategies used for the leveling like we can yes, simply sir. use a wooden log mm -hmm. we can either use a wooden leveler or you can be using an iron leveler as well the one that you are seeing in the second image over here okay first of all let's do uh, write down the points over here like why the leveling is important ठीक है, so first point one of you mentioned that to prevent the soil erosion, ना? Yes sir. हाँ, to prevent the top fertile soil from erosion, because क्या होगा? Say if there is um, uh, say if there is a heavy flow of water in the field. So, or if there is a rainwater, so what will happen? The top fertile layer, the top fertile soil will be carried away by the water, right? Yes, sir. So, rainwater or uh, flood water can carry the soil. Second reason why leveling of the soil is important was, by the way, you are getting now what does leveling basically mean here? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, basically, big breaking the bigger chunks of the soil into smaller pieces. Okay. Uh, second point one of you mentioned is that in order to mm -hmm. to break the crumbs. Ha, break the crumbs. Ah, ठीक है ना. That is correct. In leveling is leveling in itself means breaking the crumbs. But yes, why it it is important? Ha, to repeat. To prevent the birds eating the seeds. Uh, or we can see that for proper for proper sowing of seeds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Third thing is that if I have a field and in which there are large pieces of soil crumbs accumulated over here, so water logging can be there now, right? Yes, sir. So the third reason why leveling is important to avoid. वाटर लॉकिंग ठीक है वाटर विल बी लॉस्ट बाई एवोपरेशन वहां से वाटर की लॉस होगी एवोपरेशन से बट इफ द सॉइल इज इवेंट सो देर विल बी लेसर एवोपरेशन लेसर लॉस ऑफ वाटर So fourth reason why it is important to prevent the loss of moisture from the ploughed soil. Yes. Sir. Okay. If anyone has any questions or any doubts, please do let me know. Okay. No problem. Okay. Now, what is the implement call here? Um, iron level or wooden planks. सिंपली हम लेवलर कहेंगे पहले ओके इट्स सिंपली लेवलर सो देन देयर विल बी वुडन लेवलर एंड द सेकंड वन इज द आयरन लेवलर ओके सो द वुडन लेवल विल बी बेसिकली ड्रॉन बाय द ऑक्स ओवर हियर राइट सो इट्स ऑक्स ड्राउन लेवलर दैट यू सी इन दिस इमेज एंड देन इज द आयरन लेवलर बीइंग um pulled by this tractor over here yes, right yes, so that is all about the uh, second process of preparation of soil right and then comes the manuring yeah moz would you like to explain like what is uh, manure or i hope you must have heard of this like manures yes sir now we have to do uh, selection sowing of seeds uh -huh. we have to do that as well now 
but uh, since all these things are done together one after one while preparation of soil mein na ye sabhi cheeze ki jati hain usually right now yes sir okay hmm. like when in the preparation of soil now you will not add fertilizers fertilizers are basically made up of chemicals now but it's safe to add manures right now yes, like like sowing of the seed has to be done पहले हमने लैंड को प्रिपेयर कर ली आफ्टर दैट आई विल बी सोइंग द सीड्स इनटू इट सपोज इफ आई वर टू ऐड फर्टिलाइजर्स हियर आल्सो इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रिपरेशन द सोइल सो व्हाट विल हैपन देयर आर हाई चांसेस दैट सीड्स माइट बी डैमेज नाउ यस सर ओके सो देयर बाय फर्स्ट वी विल प्रोवाइड मैन्यूर टू द सोइल बिकॉज़ मैन्यूर्स आर ऑर्गेनिक इन नेचर एंड दे आर नॉट हार्मफुल टू द सीड्स यस सर गेटिंग इट नाउ Yeah, Moaz, you are getting it or not? Please do let me know. Yes, sir, I am getting. <laughs> so the first step we have covered. Second leveling we discussed. Now it's about manuring. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about manuring over here. Hmm. So anyone who would like to explain what is manuring? Sir, can I? Yeah, sure. Sir, so animal dung used for fertilizing land. Mm-hmm. Adding manure for fertilizing the land. Okay. <clears throat> Now sometimes animal dung. Huh? Not only animal dung. Okay. Now, so like organic you, waste. organic waste can also be there. Look, you don't directly add to it. Now, it's better to prepare the manure first. Yes, sir. Use animal dung or vegetable peels, right? Now, or the farm waste. that can be used to prepare manures in fact you a uh, person can prepare it themselves yes, okay yes sir so manuring is, is basically the term manuring means addition of manures right to the soil hmm. now kabhi kabhi kya hota hai sometimes what happens manure is added to the soil before the land is ploughed hmm. can anyone yes, tell sir. me why uh, sometimes manure is added to the soil before they are ploughed so because uh, when uh, we are doing ploughing uh, mm-hmm. the manure get mixed uh, mixed in the soil mm-hmm. exactly because it will help in the proper mixing of manure with the soil getting it now the manure can also soften the soil exactly it can soften the soil right now it it will be adding humus to the soil right now yes sir mm-hmm. Acha, also, uh, you guys do tell me, like there are different types of soils, also, no? Yes, sir. Like there is a sandy soil, clay soil, yes, sir. clay Muddy soil, sir. clay soil, and then there is loamy soil. Yes, sir. Okay, now, hmm. out of all these, we get to see that the loamy soil is the most fertile soil. Yes, sir. Okay, most fertile soil. But what happens? There are some. Uh, uh, if I were to look at the loamy soil, loamy soil does not retains that much amount of uh, water. So yes, because sir. what happens now? <coughs> loamy soil ke particles आपस में close होते हैं, right? So thereby what sometimes what is some uh, what is done sometimes? Like if I am having a field in which the soil type is loamy soil. मेरे पास एक फील्ड है इन विच द सॉइल टाइप इज लोमी सॉइल सो देर बाय इन ऑर्डर टू मेक द लोमी सॉइल मोर फर्टाइल वॉट डू आई डू आई एड सैंड इन टू द सॉइल ओके ना आई विल बी एडिंग द सैंड टू द सॉइल अलॉन्ग साइड आई विल बी एडिंग मैन्यूर्स टू द सॉइल ऑल्सो सो देर बाय द सॉइल बिकम्स मोर फर्टाइल ओके नाउ बैक टू द टॉपिक वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मैन्यूरिंग ओवर हेयर सो समटाइम्स आई से दैट manuring is done before ploughing before ploughing to help in mixing of soil with manure okay hope it is clear hmm. now let's move on to the next step then so we have uh, discussed the first topic that is the preparation of the soil now we move on to the second step involved which is the sowing 
Yes, okay, sir. so once the soil in the field has been prepared by the bluffing, by labeling and manuring. When we talk about preparation, ki baat karenge, we will be talking about bluffing, plowing, uh, labeling and manuring. Yes, sir. So now the seeds of the crop has to be sown in it. Okay, so what are the things I need to take care of while I'm sowing the seed? The proper depth. Proper hmm. depth and proper intervals. Hmm. Before that, also we the basic and fundamental thing is to like I need to take care of the season also, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Actually, you guys tell me like why I need to take care of the season also. Like I can't be growing the wheat crop in the harif season. They won't germinate since it requires uh, different mm. water amount, certain temperatures and climates. It requires certain climate and temperature, and it cannot grow in abundant amount of water. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Moz. Okay. Yes, sir. So no. Yeah. Hope you are able to relate with the topics. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Okay. So once the field will be ready, now the second step involves um start start is simply the sowing. So in the sowing of seeds. What kind of seeds should the farmer use? Okay, first of all, someone please explain to me the give the definition of sowing. Usually in exams, the definitions are being asked, so I uh, I will be asking for the definitions as well. Yeah. Yes, sir. Arham. Mm-hmm. Sir, uh, the placement of the seeds in the soil at proper depth and proper intervals is called the sowing. Yes, sir. It's called sowing. Good. Right. Okay. So basically, the process of Uh, putting the seeds or scattering the seeds in the ground at a proper depth. Like it's not like necessary that you proper depth. If you are maybe put it, then also it will be called as sowing. Okay, yes, na. So usually, if you were to simply scatter the seeds on the ground for the growth of the crop plants, so simply it can be called as sowing. Then also, right yes, now. Yes, sir. Hmm. And those are the aspects of what are the things we need to take care of while we are sowing, right? So simply we say that the uh, The scattering of seeds on ground for crops to grow. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, first thing is about the selection of the seeds. Selection of seeds has to be taken care of. Like you guys, uh, we already did talked about it. Like if you were to uh, see whether a seed is good or not, we will be yes, putting seeds in the In a bucket of water, so healthy seeds will settle down at the bottom, while the spoiled seeds will be floating. Yes, sir. Yes. So thereby we can do that. Yeah, we can also use high yielding seeds. Hmm. Right now, so the kind of seed that we can use, it could be high yielding variety of seeds also. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Hmm. By the way, uh, in previous class, I did ask you guys from uh, about the father of green revolution in India. Yes, sir. Huh? Anyone who knows about that was green revolution in in India. Have you studied about that? No, sir. It's Swami Nathan. It's Swami Nathan. I'm a okay. Swami Nathan. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. If I talk about world pe ba- world level, pe baat karta hon, if I were to talk about in the whole world, who has played a key role in the green revolution? Even M. S. Swaminathan was inspired from him. It was Norman Borlaug. Okay, now it was Norman. Simply uh, remember the name Norman. So there was a time period in India. Okay, it was during the uh, time period of. Um, it was usually in the nineteen sixties. Okay. Yes, sir. So here, the Green Revolution. Uh, that at that time it was the period of green revolution 1960s me kya hua okay india was facing shortage of food right now there was famine in bengal millions yes, of people sir. died because of famine okay so the green revolution it was basically initiated by the person norman borlaug ne shuru kiya tha yes sir green revolution In 1960s की ये बात है, and he has been known as the father of green revolution. Father of green revolution in the world, ठीक है? 
and he also got the Nobel Peace Prize for, for this. Okay, Nobel Peace Prize भी नहीं मिला था इसके लिए. For what? Anyone who know? For what work he got the Nobel Peace Prize? Hmm. Hello. Yes, sir. In developing high yield varieties, okay, na, of wheat, wheat ki high yielding variety seeds ko develop karne ke liye inhe Nobel Peace Prize mila tha. ठीक है. India mein हम किन्हें कहते हैं? As you guys told me, Ms. Ms. Swaminathan. Ms. Swaminathan. Do remember the name. Okay, so Green Revolution is was a time period in India which led to great increase in production of food grains. ठीक है. Okay, and the Green Revolution, uh, it changed India's stated uh, status. Earlier India की status क्या थी? It was that India is a food deficient country. Right now, earlier it was said that India is a food deficient country. यहाँ पे food की कमी है. Now later on, after Green Revolution, India became leading producer of producer of different products, different food uh, food products. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now, so there were several objectives of the Green Revolution also, but that we not uh, need to go into. Okay now. Hmm. So this was about the Green Revolution. Now uh, further in the next class, we'll be talking about the methods of sowing seeds. Each one of you study about what are the different methods of sowing the seeds. Okay. Also, there will be a, a five to ten minutes test. MCQ test will be there. I'm uh, telling you earlier, there will be ten MCQ questions 